7 chapter 2 here we are going to start exercise 2.3 so before we start with the exercise let's understand why we are doing it it's a diagram here in order to understand a complex data into a simple and attractive manner which is going to be drawn in our exercise 2.3 classified data are presented in the form of diagram here we can see the types of diagram that is one dimension two dimension and pictorial diagram these are the three types of diagram which we are going to learn in exercise 2.3 in one dimension diagram we'll learn about the bar diagram multiple bar diagram simple divided bar diagram percentage divided bar diagram this will be more clear with the explanation of the solution and there are some calculation which will be very simple and easy to understand moving to the next two dimension diagram that is circle diagram and pi diagram here you need a protector and the rounder you will understand more with the explanation next is the pictorial diagram the most easiest diagram where you just have to draw with the what the thing has been asked in the question it will be get clear with the continuation of this video with the solution of exercise 2.3 11 standard statistic with the chapter 2 here we start with the exercise 2.3 which is on your page number 55 chapter presentation of data now in this exercise we are going to learn the presentation of data in graph or diagram here we start the first question from the exercise 2.3 this is how you have to present your graph book Following is the data on the number of employees working in various government departments present it with a suitable diagram. Now this is what information is given in your question that the department, road transport, railway, income tax, finance, planning and their number of employees are given. Now out of this information here they say to draw a suitable diagram. Out of this information, obviously, it is sure to draw a bar diagram. Bar diagram which you have must be already learned in your secondary section. So, let's start with this. So, before we start such kind of information, you have to arrange the data in descending order. Here you can see the department name is given. If the year is given, you can't make this arrangement. But when the department like such kind of arrangement is given, that can be changed with the descending order which can be easily visual, visualized that uh, which one is the more and which one is the less so first we can start from here we can see a railway which is coming with the highest number of employees 6000 next we can see the 4000 with the road transport that is 4000 income tax with 3000 finance 2500 and for planning 1500 after putting this information don't forget to write down which diagram you are drawing that is bar diagram showing the number of employees in the government department always remember the scale has to be written that what you are putting on the x-axis and y-axis now this is what the graph here you can see on horizontal line which will be says as an x-axis and vertical line which will be known as in y-axis you can see here y after putting the lines remember the center will be denoted as zero and here you can see the department which will be denoted as an x-axis so first here we are going to denote uh, department and on y-axis don't forget to write down the number of employees but now here before you write the number of employees first check the numbers that how numbers are given here you can see it's a uh, in thousands six four three two thousand uh, five hundred and one thousand five hundred so here here i made the distance of five hundred in each and every one centimeter so that's what you have to write down on y-axis that one centimeter is a five hundred employees has been shown so don't forget to write down this information number of employees over here that what you are showing on y-axis and on x-axis show is at a department which is going to be written over here now the next step is to take your scale 
and find out the first is the railway with the 6000 number of employees first you can find out here the 6000 is over here so on this here we are going to draw a bar diagram from here till here and as it is a bar which has to be shown something like this here I complete till 6000 and which is going to be show the department of railway this is the one bar we to complete till the 6000 which has been given in the information which shows the number of employees 6000 in the department of railway next is the road transport here the number of employees 4000 so next bar will be draw from here till the 4000 so take your scale and put your make the bar remember it should be an equal distance between the bar if you join them it will become a histograph so don't make this mistake always keep a equal distance between the bars so next here i draw another department that is road transport where the 4000 number of employees are there next in the same way we we'll, can do the remaining that is income tax which shows the number of employees 3000 so next bar will draw from here and it should be till 3000 so here you can see the 3000 the bar will be made till here here you can see i already draw the three bar for the income tax which is 3000 here you can see till 3000 i have made for income tax next is for finance 2500 here you can see the 2500 till here for the finance next is planning 1500 here you can see till 1500 number of employees that is for planning this is how you have to present your graph very systematically moving to the next question second question the data on the profit of a company is as under Present it by an appropriate diagram. Now out of this, obviously we can see the information is quite similar to where we are going to make in a bar diagram. But note, do not arrange the data which is given in years. You can see the years are given. So no arrangement will be done for such kind of information. Just take as it is. Because the years are there, we can't make an, any arrangement for this. For this, just write down first that bar diagram showing the profit in crore of a company during the year 2010 and 2015 put up the scale that what information has been shown on x-axis and y-axis for obviously the year will be shown on x-axis and profit which are going to be shown on y-axis now out of this information here you can see the one of the year is given in minus 2. So these all are the in the positive but one of the year is came in the negative profit. So this is how you have to prepare. Here will negative number and here with the positive one. Now out of this let's start preparing diagram. For 2010 profit in crores is 10. So here we can make the start the bar of 2000. 10 for the 10 crore so this will be exact margin till 10 one bar will be put for 2010 till here for 2011 it is 5 so here for 2011 till 5 means till here we are going to make the bar next 2012 is minus 2 for 2012 will go on the opposite side till here because the profit has been shown in minus for 2012 next is 2013 for till 4 crore profit here we can make for 2000 sorry this was for 2012 here till here we'll make 2013 next 2014 so here we are going to make for, for 2014 till 8 crore. So till here we will make the bar. Then 2015 till 6 crore. So here is the marking. I just get ready with the bar. Here the bars are ready. That is for 10 crore profit. 
5 crore here the minus 2 uh, here till 4 here till 8 and here till 6 crore so this is how you have to present your bar diagram moving to the next question number 3 change in the price of share of five companies at bombay stock exchange during an interval of 15 days are as follow present them present them by the suitable diagram now for such diagram here the information is given the companies five companies has been given price of a share is given and price of a same share after 15 days so out of this information obviously there are two information is given for the one company so here we are going to draw a multiple bar diagram now for multiple bar diagram remember to arrange them arrange the data in the descending order now for arranging descending order just check which company is having the highest price here we can see the c so just write down c and write down the information 100 and 150 next we can see uh, after C, in the descending order, we can check that is the D is giving another number that is 80 and 60. In the same way, in the series, we can find the A which will be the next with the 40 and 60. Next will be E with 30 and 10 and next will be B with 20 and 30. Now after the arrangement prepare your graph in such a way where you are going to show the company on the x axis so write down that on x axis company and on y axis here you can see on 1 cm I wrote the price of a share. Now the maximum price here we can see is 100 and the minimum is 20. So we can make the distance of 1 cm with the uh, 10 uh, with the price of a share that is 10 20 till I made 150 because here you can see there is a one maximum price of share after 15 days is of company C so for this show what you are going to show on the x-axis that is company and on y-axis price of share at the top write down multiple bar diagram showing the price of a share of a company during an interval of 15 days and uh, the scale which I have already shown. Now here you can see that we are going to make multiple bar. So you have to show that what multi bar, multiple bar is going to be show. First price of share. The shade will be such which will be show as a price of a share and the blank one will be the price of a share same share after 15 days. So let's start preparing. The first one the company see where the price of a share is 100 and after 15 days 150. So the first one will prepare for C that is 1 is 100 which will be shaded 1 till here which is going to be show in shaded 1 that is a price of a share and another one that is 150 the joint has to be showed bar which will be the blank. This is how you have to show. I'll just draw with the bar. Here you can see till 150 and 100. And remember the price of a share. That is the first one price of a share. Which will be till 100. That I shown in a shade one. And the another one price of a same share. After 15 days that is showing 150. Difference in the price of a share. So that has to be shown. And here you have to write down that which company is this. That is C. Moving to the next company D where the price of a share is still 80 of uh, and after 15 days 60. So first let's make till 80. Don't forget to keep some distance. So here I am going to show till 80 the shaded one and another one is till 60. That is till here. Here for the company D which has been shown with the shaded and the blank one. Next is A where the price of a share is 40 and after 15 days 60. So put one some distance. So till here we are going to make and uh, it is 40 and 60. So till 40 will first make till here and another one will make till here. 
that's it moving to the next company e with the price 30 and reduced by 10 so here we can see till 30 and 10 now the next last one is company b which shows the price of a share 20 increased by 30 keep some distance first write down that is for company b till 20 when still here we are going to make and another one till 30 so that is how it has to be present this multiple bar diagram for the question number three moving to the next question 